Welcome summoners to a brand new League of Legends video where today we're gonna be trying out some Nautilus in the top lane here going for a spicy build as always my friends going against Gwen here we've got to be a little bit careful about how we play this Gwen's really good into juggernauts like uh Nautilus so we're gonna have to try and bully her out early I think extended trades are not our friend at all she's really good into extended trades so looking for the short trades with PTA should hopefully do us a little bit better here Okay, there we go. Short trade, proc the PTA, and then we're pretty good to go. Got to get this level two if we can. To go W first, because we actually bumped into Gwen around here. Okay, it's not too bad as long as we can get level two. Mm, that's bad. That is pretty bad, my friends. See, my jungle up is puffing topside. She will be able to perk us out pretty nicely with the EQ combo. Okay. Okay, good PTA proc for free. I'm okay with that. Oh, she actually barely gets out of tower range. Nice. We'll point into our queue for now. Uh, she might get aggressive again. Yeah, I kind of expected that. Should have hooked her there, maybe. Unfortunately, there's not too much we can do about that, to be honest. Uh, let's see what my jungler does. She could probably E forward again. Does she know? I think she awarded it, no. Yeah, she definitely warded it. She's leaving. So I guess when we had the fight earlier, pretty good ward from the Gwen there. Probably going to be maxing our E here. Our shield's going to get destroyed by her, so we can go ahead and poke her out, I think, to look for trades. Mm, barely outside of our range. Okay, good damage. I don't think we actually win this though, and I'm gonna leave because she's got ignite. If we leave and reset, we can actually just come back with some bonus HP. Start building a rail, which will be pretty good. We'll get this and this. Then we can TP up. If we can hold the wave here, so it's gonna be really good. She doesn't have TP. She's got offensive summoner spells with ghost and ignite here. Just gonna make sure we don't take unnecessary damage here. Nice. Using the E to get the cannon minion is pretty good. Rocking the bone playing is pretty good. Okay. Doesn't really work out as planned, unfortunately. Nice, let's go. Awesome stuff. I was kind of quiet. I was super focused. I was thinking I really want to be able to get this kill. We do manage to get it, which is huge. Really good kill before level 6. We're going to have to play a little bit defensive after level 6. Continue to go for the short trades like we mentioned before, but it's going to be even harder because at level 6 is going to be even stronger in terms of all-ins, especially when it goes to run us down. But nice stuff. Awesome play. We'll go ahead and try and push this wave in now. Use our level 6 to hopefully... Be a little bit more safe. If we could last hit, oh my gosh, we can't even last hit, no way. Cannon? No. Oh, that's not good. Really nice play there. I managed to use the Q to get through them. Brand being here though makes my life a little bit hard. I just wanted to get my uh, stop her from pushing, which is rough. Well, we can't do that, unfortunately. The jungler is mid, does get the flash on the Zed. We'll be able to get our catalyst, which is huge, because then we can get mana back. And just give me two seconds, guys. Alright, nice. We're back. 
We'll have to buy heal cut for this Gwen at some point. Like, like I said, getting that early kill is really good. Team get a kill in the mid lane as well. Well played team, really nice stuff. Me able to hook that minion, secure it pretty nicely. Nice. All right, pretty good. Brand is mid. Vagon does get the cage on him. Nice combo to get a little bit of damage. He's actually going to survive here, it looks like. So he's looking okay, I think. Not sure where the Gwen is, but... We're going to push this wave. I don't really want to be in the lane too long. And if she left, that's okay with me. Candy minion. Okay, never missed any of those, ever. Play Hammond in bot lane. Zach looks a little bit overextended. Kalista does get rooted out, but she's going to be okay, I think. Gonna use this opportunity to make a play mid or just get some vision. I guess it's going to be vision in this case. The enemy's blue buff is up. Don't know if I can do that in time. Would be nice to get. Sorry, I'm having an array of issues here. My headphones are running low on battery. Nice, pretty good damage. Damage is huge, actually. We could look for some more E-poke, would be pretty good. Into an all-in. Nice, let's go. E-poke into the all-in was huge. Get another kill onto the Gwen. She played a really, really bad. Took a tower shot as well. And because she doesn't have uh, a, a TP even, we can go ahead and get this way pushed in. And hopefully get a, maybe a plate here. Oh, actually, I'm just going to leave it. I think it's a little bit greedy. Might be able to get one, but nice stuff all around. Let me just fix my last issue with my headphones, guys. I'm so sorry. Give me one second. We'll get the blasting one and boots, by the way. While the play looks like it's happening bot side, but yeah. Two seconds. An ally has been slain. Enemy double kill. All right, should be good now. Double kill on the bot side of the map, but it doesn't look very good for us, unfortunately. That's a little bit rough. Not so good by our team, unfortunately, but hey, happens. Oh, I tried to cancel the... Okay, I tried to auto and then get the other minion with my with my Q, but yeah. Didn't work out. Half max out, you know, though, which is good. Can definitely use that to look for some... Poke damage. Can it E forward? No, okay. The trades are pretty nice, to be honest. She's going to go for the plant, I think. Yeah. A bit unfortunate. I can't do too much. Man, the poke is really nice with E, huh? It means that we're able to get a lot of damage off, actually, in these short trades. You can see that tr trade damage is insane. I should be Wing as well, to be honest. Zach wants to do Void Grubs, I'm definitely down. Okay, she's gonna ult me here. I'm okay with this. We can just leave. Mm. I'm down to fight this, but we need to get on top of them. I can't walk towards the Gwen. The Gwen's in front of me, so it's very difficult for me to do anything. Nice. Should be able to get the Gwen as well. Oh no, my ult cancelled. What? Oh, if I realized, I would have re-ulted again. But my ult cancelled when I ulted the Gwen. No. My ult cancelled. That's rough, man. We do have the rower at least. Because she pressed W, so I think she became untargetable, right? And when she became untargetable, it just cancelled my ult. 
He's going to try and push this wave in. Maybe we can loop round and go for the kill here. Let's see what we can do. Getting the blue buff would be nice. Nice. Zach takes the kill, but that's a okay. Getting a free kill onto Gwen is huge. Should be able to get a plate for our troubles as well. Wanted to get the blue buff ideally, but hey, no worries. Pretty good for my jungler. Now, getting these Navori flicker blades is basically the volley bear build, right? Oh, I'm on my way. I'm on my way, I'm on my way. Nice. The Zed walk up. I don't know if Zed walks up here. Okay. Nice. Should be locked out. That's a dead Zed. Let's go. Well played, guys. Nice stuff all around. Really like the play. Gwen's going to be back now. I oh, dare she is. Yeah, we definitely are going to need heal cut. She's going to have a ton of healing. I'm hoping the flicker blades will work out quite nicely and maybe we'll actually be able to duel there. Okay, not bad. How much is PTA done? 434. Interesting. Not a lot. Ooh, we're taking a bunch of free damage there. Not so good. Try to get the last potion here. At this point, without heal cut, we're definitely going to be losing the fights pretty easily here. Vega goes down uh, in the mid lane. It's a little bit rough. A little bit rough. Taking a bunch of unnecessary damage, to be honest. It's actually really good for us. Does she hit us with the last R? She doesn't. Maybe we can kill her here. I don't have my R though. If I had R, she would have died because they could have just kept her on the tower pretty easily. Just seeing what she does here. Alright, we're going to leave. Actually, I have, I have my ult coming up in a second. Not sure if Brand is here. Not sure if Gwen stays either. I think I have enough damage to kill her. Nice, get that crash in. All right, let's go ahead and leave. Boots wise, not really sure what to go for here. I will get this. I will go for, I think swiftness boots will be good. Go for the swifties. Maybe get mercs would have been good as well, actually. But I like swifties. Swifties is going to be pretty good. Give us that extra speed. I feel really fast, actually. Nice. Big damage. Not huge, but you know, slightly big. Uh, we're getting another point to our W. There's a ward here somewhere. For sure. Vega looks like he's coming up. Yeah, I'm definitely down for this. It's a lot of damage. Nice. Well played, my friend. Well played. Good bait from us. Go ahead and just bait her into all in on us. I mean, she was going to do it anyway, which is pretty good. Nice. Oh, this guy looks like he's in a little bit of trouble. I don't know if we can help him. We are getting a lot of bot. I might go down for this, but hey. Zach's gonna be able to take out the kill. Okay, pretty good. We get a kill bot, uh, a tower bot side and a tower top. I could have definitely rotated for sure. 
I think this is a little bit more worth it. My kills are not really guaranteed. Even with the Seraphine there, I could have gone for the Seraphine, but no worries. Almost got Flicker Blades now. Okay, I'm really excited for this. This has not been tested before, I'll be honest, but it could work well. Could work well. I don't want to sell my Dawn Drink for the item. Maybe we could kill the Gawain again with the Zack. Got my ult coming up in 15. Looks like he might go for the play. Does she walk up? She doesn't walk up. Hmm. She might know. Nice. Get this pushed in. Okay, there she is. Oh, we trolled. We trolled. I should have flashed. Trolled my Q. I could have killed her for sure, I think. I just didn't troll my Q. Wait out the ult and then we would have been okay. Just a big misplay from me. She's waiting in the bush the whole time. Should have expected it, especially when uh, me and Zach were waiting there and she didn't show. Zach will defend topside though, which is going to be kind of nice. Don't think she's going to be able to get much else. Nice. Does he have R? Yeah, he R. That's a dead Gwen. Ooh, she's super fast though. Maybe she does get away. Good play from Gwen. I could TP behind them here, potentially, in the mid lane. Definitely down for this play. Definitely down for it. Nice. Go ahead and ult here. Gonna flash out. Nice stuff. Go ahead and root up this guy. Try and get the brand if I can. The Naviri, Navori even is gonna heal us up pretty. No, it's gonna bring our cooldowns back up is what I meant to say, but that brand hurts a lot. Oh my goodness. Might be worth going for the Merc boots instead. Kalista is a little bit too weak, unfortunately. Vega did have to leave as well. It's a dead Kalista. Man, that brand hurts so much. Yeah, look at that, 2.9k. I guess I don't really have much, uh... oh, many resistances. But man, that hurt a lot. Apologies, guys. Had a small distraction. Okay, back in the mid lane now. Zack is here as well. Gwen's a little bit overextended. Apologies, I just got a random uh, thing going on. I'm here. My attention's here. I do apologize. Not really one to deviate from the game. Looking at this, can maybe get the brand here. Oh, my hook barely misses. We're going to stun out the Gwen, which is nice. We're going to root up the brand with the R there to make sure he's CC'd for a while. This fight's not looking so good, though. We don't have our uh, Vagar as well. Yeah, that looks a little bit rough. It's not the end of the game. Only one of us ended up going down, which is good. But yeah, that did look a little bit rough for us. Oh. We almost catch him there. We'll get this wave. Brands around this area. I'm not sure if we can look for him here. We do damage. Don't know if we can kill this guy though. Got my team coming in. Nah, we're dead. Fortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to get killed in return. Tried to maybe kill the Zed. I think in a 1v1, I could have killed him for sure. He's not that strong. 
We'll get another level as well, thanks to our row being fully stacked in a second. But we're going to need some MR. Maybe going for Witsend would be nice. That way we can get the tenacity that we need. And we can match the Gwen a little bit. The attack speed is going to be huge, I think. We've got to play around Vega for sure. Got to play around Vega for sure. This kind of close. Almost managed to get the brand, but no. That's going to be a dead pantheon as well. We get the extra level up, which is kind of nice. Um, I guess we'll just go top for now. Brand's in our jungle here. I just saw him. If I can kill the brand, that'd be huge. Nice. Managed to kill him, which is huge. Lister ends up going down. Getting the brand was pretty big, but... I don't know if there's much else we can do. We can try and s slow down the Gwen. Amphia can R in here. Yeah, there's the R coming in. I like this play. Oh, should have R'd behind her. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to catch her here. Alright, let's see what we can do. We need to make sure we kill... Mainly the bot lane and the brand. That was cheeky from Gwen. Very cheeky. She actually stayed to get some of the uh, camps. That's crazy. Nice. Not too far off from the wit's end, to be honest. If we can get that cooking. Help us a lot. Team getting a little bit aggressive here. Not sure how well this is going to work out for us. We definitely just got to play around Vega. 100%. 100 percent He's really strong. Three items. He can burst pretty much anybody, I would say. Looks like we're getting flanked on by the Zed here. Vega is really overextended. Oh, nice. We actually got a kill onto the Zed, which is huge. I get the hook onto the Gwen. Got my ult only coming up just now, though. Team are going to want to FF again, probably. I feel like Vega was just in a bad spot. If Vega positions a little bit better. I'm most fed person on this team. That's true. And you get caught. Yeah, exactly, my friend. Do not walk directly away from me if they are engaging. No, Vega. You can't be in that position, my friend. Better, buddy. Uh, I usually wouldn't intervene. Like, I'm not too fast, but he's saying, like, he's basically blaming the team, but his positioning was really bad there. Like, let's be real. Almost got enough of wits, which is going to be nice. Uh, Drake's coming up in a little bit, which we are going to need, but I don't think we're going to be able to get it. Could try and kill the Gwen here. Probably warded. Probably warded. I don't think we're going to be able to get this Drake, unfortunately. We do almost have enough of the wit send there. Which we'll get right now. We'll sell our Dorans. We can maybe make a play for Drake. I don't know. But our bot lane are just super weak. Uh, we'll get the wits. It's going to be a dead Zack. Hmm. Might be able to get a return pick. Nice. Going to try and slow down the Gwen if I can. Got the hook coming back up. Nice. Oh, this guy. Nice, let's go. Nice flash from Pantheon and myself as well. We'll be able to get the Drake. Without Brand here, we can actually do so much. Nice, managed to get the hook onto him. And we're going to go down, but it's definitely worth. Really nice play. Wow, the amount of uh, CDs that we have on this is really good. It means hooks, up are, are, uh, hooks are up often even. Shields are up. 
really often, ease up as well, and it does a ton of damage and AoE slow. I feel like this build is not bad at all, actually. Witsend as well, doing a nice amount of damage. I'm enjoying it. I actually think it's not too bad, guys. And we got PTA as well, 1000 damage with this. I would do 8% bonus damage. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm feeling the build a little bit. We can get something like Jack Show to make sure we're nice and tanky now. Uh, definitely getting the magic resistance first and going from there. But hopefully you guys are enjoying the build. As long as we play around Vega, definitely winnable. Although they do have the Infernal Drake now, which makes things a little bit rough. A little bit rough indeed. This is going to go top side. She's actually building the Fally, which is really bad when you're behind. Because you're not really going to do that much damage. But hopefully she can scale up quite nicely. Tampion at least is going quite tanky. He's only got one and a half items at the moment. But because he's going nice and tanky, he'll be a nice meat shield for the team. Getting a random pick would be really good. Don't know if we're going to be able to find one though. I was hoping they might go for our red. Nah, we're going to go down here. Might be able to get a kill back with Vega though. Oh, nice stun. That's going to be a dead Gwen probably. Yeah, nice. Well played. Alright, so my Zac and Pantheon were around. So they managed to stall it out for a while. I'm not sure if this is warded. Yeah, they got it gonna say they're probably still doing it zed is bot side though vega's gonna go and deal with him zach's gonna try and chase the brand if he gets his off maybe he can do it you get a flash out of the brand nah it's rough he tried branch is way too strong not sure if Kalissa's gonna be able to get a kill here if she does that's pretty good she's dead she just dies off that. Yeah. That's rough. Nice try. Good attempt. Unfortunately, it doesn't work out though. Our space shaking there was horrible. We got absolutely blown up. We got blown up like crazy. Vegar on three items now. Almost four items. And he must have a lot of stacks. How much HP does AP even? 1.1k AP. Pretty good. I could look for someone in my jungle. I think maybe we can go for the play here if the brand isn't here. I don't think brand's gonna be around. Brand is around now, we gotta leave. Nice ult for myself, we get a free pick, which is pretty good. Ooh, maybe he can actually get on top of the brand here. Nice. No, I couldn't E again, man. I don't know. Vega managed to kill the Gwen, but the brand's just way too strong, man. If I got there a bit sooner, maybe I could have done it a little bit more. I need to save my ult for brand. He doesn't have any defensive items, so we saved the ult for brand, I think. That's the play. Again, we didn't replay around Vega as well. If he lands one W onto brand, the brand just dies for free. I was really hoping we could kill him there. I was just trying to auto attack like crazy because he was only on 1 HP, but the Seraphine, I guess, kind of kept him alive. It's so rough. If we're in these fights for longer and we just kill one of them, our oh, cooldown's like coming up so fast. It's really cool. I actually really like this item. I've never really tried it that much, and I know they changed it to have the AD removed, uh, which is kind of good. We're going top side now. We're still level 17 though, which is pretty good. Mainly because of Rylai's. You can see the crits. If the crits come in, they do a decent amount of damage, you know. Help with the burst. Nice. Ooh, the attack speed. Vega's got to be super careful. Oh, he's dead. Nice Sonya's. Nice. Just end up owing him. No, we missed. No. Good old Gwen here. That's game. That's game, yeah. I griefed as well. Vega goes down, we go down. But I feel like we played pretty well. It's just unfortunate that the kind of brand 
pick up a bit of game. But GG was a good attempt at a 1v9. I mean, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough, but he's got to do better positioning wise. Either way, guys, we had a lot of fun still with this build. I feel like you should try it out. I think it can work pretty well on most of this. And I hope you guys enjoyed the vid. All right, summoners, we still had a good time. Unfortunately, our bot lane weren't doing so well for most of the game, which made it a little bit more difficult. Our damage was there, though. Not too bad at all, actually. Definitely did some work. If we weren't against someone like Gwen in the top lane and someone else who was more of a jungle dog, we could probably fight them for a bit longer without just getting run down. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video.